Welcome back, guys. You are watching Brothers Together. The schedule for the KCET 2023 document verification was out last night. And the same way following that particular circular which KA had released yesterday, I just thought of uploading a video in which I'll be explaining those two circulars in a clear fashion. And in the same way, telling you how did I manage to get my documents verified in 2022, wherein I had applied for KCET 2022 exam. And through that, I am currently perceiving my first year engineering in SJCE Mysore, guys. I hope this video will be definitely informative and exciting. So make sure that you watch this video till the end. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then make sure that you hit the subscribe button because I will be coming up with each and every update which you need to know about KCT counseling. And adding to that, I'll also be coming up with exciting videos about tips and tricks in option entry, which you can inculcate, which will help you get the best possible college and the seat for your particular rank. With that note, let's start this video guys yeah this is the first circular which i'll be going through right now in this they have given the title as note on online verification of documents this shouldn't distract you or this shouldn't confuse you guys because i have already come up with a video in which i have told you in a detailed fashion about the offline part of your document verification and the online part of your document verification and going through this particular circular in a clear fashion becomes really important because this will give you a clear understanding of what you need to do in this document verification process. CET exam was held on 20th and 21st and this particular schedule is only there for class A students. Let me tell you what is class A also clearly. Listen to me guys, you may have confusion about it. If you are someone who have studied for seven complete academic years in a school which is located in Karnataka, in a school or a college, and adding to that, you should be including at least 10th or 12th. In that 7 years which you consider, there should be at least 10th or 12th. That is, if you are someone who has studied from 1st standard to 9th standard in Karnataka, then 10th and 12th if you have completed somewhere else or else in other state, then you won't be in class A, guys. So keep that point in your mind. And now then, talking about the documents required for your verification. The first document is your admission ticket or the hall ticket which you had taken for your KCT 2023 exam. Then you should be taking the final printout of your application form or the KCT 2023 application form wherein all the details which you have claimed will be present over there. And the third document is your SSLC or your class 10th mark sheet. And then the fourth document is the second PUC or 12th standard mark sheet. So this is important and I hope many people are sensing it's important because the official marks card or the uh, hard copy of your marks card hasn't been out yet and for that reason you should be able to produce the provisional marks card which will be issued by your respective college and for that i have already come up with a video in which i have discussed about how to get your provisional mark sheet which will be verified by kea guys and then talking about the fifth document it is the study certificate study certificate is an important asset of this document verification and then talking about the requirement or the minimum requirement, at least seven years of your study in Karnataka, including either 10th or 12th, that should be verified. And adding to that, that study certificate should be attested by the BO officer or the DDPI, who will be determined by the location of the school which you are verifying in. Attestation is nothing but the verification from that BO that the details are correct. So that gives a confirmation for KE in order to verify your documents. And I hope all of you are getting your study certificates ready. I had told in my previous video about study certificate itself that it is completely fine to get your study certificates ready as soon as possible. And I hope many people are sticking on to it. Now, this is the list of the compulsory documents and then talking about the documents which are extra or which give you extra privilege that is the reservation. So if you are someone who is claiming for rural quota, then you should be able to produce the documents affiliated to that, which will tell you or which uh, is a clear statement of you studying in a rural school or a school located in a rural area from first standard to 10th standard. And if you fail to produce that, you won't be able to claim that quota, guys. The same holds true for Kannada Medium Certificate and Hyderabad Karnataka and many special privileges which they have mentioned over here. Now, let us talk about what you need to do right now after seeing this particular video. There is a prescribed schedule for you to go to your respective BEO offices in order to get your documents verified. While you are going, keep a document folder in which you should be having mainly uh one two three four five around five documents should be compulsory guys let me tell you what are those 
first thing is your hall ticket the second thing is your final printout of your application form and adding to that let me tell you that you should be having two xerox of all these uh, original documents too even if they may not receive them you they will be handy guys then talking about your third document it is your 10th marks card and the first and second puc uh, provisional marks card or if you are someone from cbs or icc you can just download it from digilocker too then talking about your study certificate it should be obtained from the head of the institution again your study certificate should mainly and will definitely have the sign and seal of your head of the institution or the principal of your college but adding to that attestation from the bo or ddpi who is concerned for your school should be there and that gives a clear statement that all the particulars which you have mentioned above are right according to their best of the knowledge which is a must in order to get verified from kea guys if you take these documents and if you head on to your respective bu offices in your prescribed timings then i think your job will be done even i had carried these particular documents itself when i had gone to my document verification to my bu office which is located in mysore and I have come up with a video in which I have discussed about the honest experience of me going to that BU office in Canada guys. And I'll be coming up with a video in which I'll be telling you about the experience which I got when I had gone to BU office in English very soon in this channel itself. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel to never miss out any important content like that. And if you are someone who is preferring to watch it in Canada, then you can just watch it. I have given the link also in the description, guys. Now talking about the schedule for your document verification. Okay, bro, we know that we have to go and we have to take certain number of documents and we have to get that verified. But but when should we go is the biggest question in your mind. And for that reason, I have released a clear circular of mentioning the dates and the time slots which have been allotted to you based on your engineering rank. Yes, guys, many people were asking me that even if we won't join engineering, then should we consider engineering rank while we go for document verification? The answer is a big yes, because when they consider a lot of disciplinaries, the location and the management becomes difficult. And hence, taking the engineering rank as a reference, you should be going to your prescribed view offices based on the time slots given below. If you are someone whose rank is in between the range of 5,000 to 6,800, you should be able to go to your respective BU offices on 28th of June in the time slot of 9.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. And if you just go there in around 10 to 15 minutes, your job will be done. So make sure that you go to your BU offices in the prescribed time slot itself because that makes your job easier and going a little bit early also will help you out because there will be a token system and you need not wait for long time. With that note, I hope I covered all of your doubts regarding these two circulars and the same way how did I manage to get my documents verified during KCT 2022 document verification. And still, if you have any kind of doubts, then make sure that you put it in the comment section or reach out to me via the Telegram group whose link also has been provided in the description, guys. I enjoyed a lot while I was making this video, guys. And if you did the same, after watching this video then make sure that you hit the like button because that will give me a lot of motivation moving forward to upload same kind of videos in the coming future guys share this video with your friends too so that even they'll be having a clear perspective about what things they have to do by their own which will help get their documents verified guys with that note this is Darshan Eskoda signing off and we are brothers together thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye